Have you ever heard of a carbon footprint? That's sort of a measure of how much pollution each and every one of us leaves behind every day. Scientists all agree, to be eco-friendly, we have to leave as little of carbon footprint as possible. By that we mean, we have to create as little carbon dioxide as we possibly can. A carbon dioxide, or CO2 as it's called, is made by burning fossil fuels, things like gasoline, oil, and coal. Now, almost any fuel we use that comes out of the ground creates CO2 when it's burned, and that is a major cause of pollution in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide comes from some power plants and from cars and trucks. You know, anything that uses fossil fuel to create power. Did you know, for every gallon of gasoline a car burns, 19 pounds of carbon dioxide are released into the atmosphere? Figure it out. If your family drives a car 1,000 miles a month, it puts up to 240,000 pounds. That's 120 additional tons of CO2 into the atmosphere every year. Multiply that by all the cars and trucks in the world, and that's a lot of pollution. Air pollution, or smog as it's sometimes called, causes something else that you should be aware of, acid rain. Now, when it rains, and that rain falls through polluted air, the rain becomes polluted as well. That's acid rain. Acid rain can poison fish and animals, pollute rivers and lakes, and even do damage to buildings. Acid rain also kills trees. Here's a little experiment you can do that will prove what acid rain can do. Um, it's about 15 minutes. Place two plants side by side near a window so they receive the same amount of sunlight. Then, whenever the plants need watering, Give them the same amount of water. Only add a few teaspoons of lemon juice or vinegar to one of the plant's water supply. Then, watch them grow over the next two weeks. Chances are, the plant you gave lemon juice or vinegar to isn't going to grow as well as the other one. Because, like acid rain, both lemon juice and vinegar are acidic. In fact, the plant will eventually die, and so will trees, insects, animals, and humans if they are exposed to too much acid rain. Later on, we'll discover how simple it can be to cut down on the use of polluting fossil fuels and leave less of a carbon footprint on the earth. It's just a matter of learning wise and unwise ways to use energy. Now, in addition to the atmosphere, there are two other parts of the Earth that are getting sick as well. The ground we walk on and the water we drink. First, 